Everything hinges on the resurrection. And our entire life as Christians is a resurrection. Why? Because what do we do? We were dead in our trespasses and sin. Then we had to die to sin so that we could live unto God. So we've already had one aspect of our resurrection, that we had to die, going into the water, as we would say. That's a representation of it to help us know that. And we come out, and we come out to live a resurrected life. We're not to live the same old life just cleaned up. We're supposed to live a resurrected life, a life like Jesus lived. And a res- Now, think about this. Once Jesus, now Jesus laid his hands on every type of disease you can imagine, whether they were contagious or anything else, without a fear of ever catching, you know, him catching it. And that was before he died, before he was resurrected. But now think about that, because after he was resurrected, you don't even have to think about that thing. Why? Because after you're resurrected, that stuff can't even get to you. I mean, it, it is impossible for Jesus now to be made sick. Why? Because the resurrected body he has now is glorified. It is immortalized. And it is impossible for sickness or disease to live in that body. And now we, by faith, live in the resurrection that he has attained. So it should be just as impossible for us to get sick. And you say, wait a minute. How is that? By faith. By faith, you can keep that stuff off. See, there will be a point in time when your body is changed when this mortal body puts on immortality, whenever at what this is this corruption or this corruptible body can be in will be incorruptible, there will be a time when you don't have to exercise faith to not get sick. Why? Because your body will be glorified <clears throat> and that sickness can't even jump on you. Can't even try to make you sick. But now we can live in, at that place by faith. Why? Because that's a done deal. If you're born again and his spirit is living in you, <clears throat> why couldn't Jesus, why, okay, think about this. Why could not Jesus get sick while he was here on earth? You say, well, I guess he could have. Okay, then why didn't he? He had too much life in him. Isn't that right? Well, where did that life come from? It was a spirit. So that spirit in him repelled that stuff that he laid his hands on. I mean, they look, look at the last two years. Sickness over there, everybody runs that way. Oh, look, somebody over here is coughing. Run that way. <clears throat> everybody ran away from it. Jesus ran toward it. He, he went right to it, and lepers and all kinds of, you know, we don't even know all the stuff that he laid his hands on. But he didn't shy away from it. When everybody else would have just stood back and said, you know, please be healed in Jesus' name, he walked right up and grabbed a hold of him, put his hand on him right in the middle of it. Why? Because he had no fear of that coming on him. Why? Because by faith, he lived in a way that that could not touch him. Could he have gotten sick? Theoretically, yes. His body was mortal. How do you know his body was mortal? It died. That's what mortal means. It means that it is, you know, it has the ability to die. That's what it means, or, you know, death doomed, as they would say. And so he had that ability. But you say, wait, you, you tell me that Jesus did what he did by faith? Yeah, of course. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And he said, I always do those things that please him. So everything he did was by faith. See, everybody always gives him this special thing that separates them and goes, well, that was Jesus. But the Bible says he emptied himself of everything that made him God while he was on earth. He never did one thing because he was God. He did what he did because he was a man anointed of God by the Spirit of God, and anointed of God means that the Spirit of God was with him. See, you take away the Spirit of God, the anointing's gone. The Spirit of God's present, the anointing is present. The Bible says if you have not the Spirit of Christ, you're none of his. So if you have his Spirit, then you have his anointing. Why? Because it was the Spirit that anointed him. Is this making sense? So that life that's in you, we ought to be living resurrection life right now. You ought to understand that that sickness or disease has no right to jump on you, and by faith, you can live in that resurrection life right now. 